all of the samples that he liked were fingering weight. Hi, um, my name's Sarah. I am 27 years old. I live in Hoboken, New Jersey, um, right across from New York City, and I am an accountant. And I knit. My family and my boyfriend probably would say too much and that I'm obsessed, but I enjoy it and I watch a lot of podcasts. Uh, while I'm at work, I go into the office about two to three days a week. Um, and all I do is watch podcasts when I'm there while I'm working. So I've been wanting to start a podcast for a while, knitting podcast. And I finally decided I was going to do it to kind of get excited for Rhinebeck slash talk myself into going to Rhinebeck. Um, and also because of the West Knits MCAL for Twist and Turns. I had a good excuse, I'll say, to start it. Um, so a little bit about me. Like I said, I'm 27 and I'm an accountant. I'm an auditor specifically in New York City. And I work in Times Square, so I get to do that fun commute a few days a week from Hoboken, which is about 20 minutes. Um, but as far as knitting goes, I've always, I think, known how to knit. My grandma taught me when I was very young how to um, crochet and knit. And I kept up crochet for a long, long time. Uh, and then during the pandemic, the end of 2020, I found, I think it was Molly from A Home to Ben House, her podcast somehow popped up across my feed on YouTube and I was instantly hooked. <laughs> and I quite ha I haven't quite stopped knitting since then. So um, I figured I would talk to a camera about all my knitting rather than my boyfriend because I think he might lose it soon. <laughs> if I keep asking him color combos and what he thinks about specific things. Um, so yeah, I guess I'll, s I'll do like a normal podcast kind of setup. So I'll do finished objects, works in progress, any acquisitions or future plans I have. Um, so I guess I'll start with what I'm wearing. I'm wearing the Throw Over by Andrea Mowry. Um, it's all with Sorella yarn. Uh, it was from the winter tonals last year. So um, I used the worsted dark blue. I can't remember what it was called. Um, for the main color and then all of the uh color work is two colors marled together so i don't know if you can see like the blue or the first color is red with like a light pink and then a mint and a dark green and then orange and also a light pink um and i really like the way it turned out with the uh Marling it kind of looks like spin cycle at the time. I didn't have any spin cycle and um, I didn't know what I was missing uh, You'll see I'm a little spin cycle obsessed, but um, that's what I'm wearing in honor of Rhinebeck um, So I guess I'll move on to finished objects. I'm just looking around at the chaos around me um, So first finished object is my Alpenglow I made it, I finished it in like three weeks, but um, I made it exactly to pattern, um, just grab it, uh, with the magpie dyed in the wool and then um, spin cycle dyed in the skein. So this is what it looks like. Um, so I just finished blocking, so it smells amazing. So I wound up using um, Ghost Ranch for the spin cycle in the whole body. And then the top color, I think this is color A in the pattern is Midnight Train to Georgia. Um, this plume, I got it at one of the local yarn stores to me. Um, they still had it in stock when the pattern came out, uh, is Tupelo Extra. And then the gray is Ash. And I kind of just wanted like a neutrally um, sweater this one's a little bit more form-fitting, like my throwover, but I have yarn to make another one um, and do either like a bright orangey brown at the collar, um, pink 
with the like the accent fuzzy cashmere and then dark green for the whole body and um i think i got miss me which is like the pinky greeny spin cycle for the color work but so when i make the next one i think what i'm gonna do is do stranded color work throughout the whole body rather than the mosaic for those little like dashes um I think it blocked out pretty okay it's not very puckery but while I was knitting it it was like very puckered and I was a little nervous it was gonna get messed up um so I might try doing stranded color work and the next one I'm making I kind of want to be like an oversized like boyfriendy kind of fit so I don't know when I'm gonna start that I I have a few things I have to make, which I'll talk about at the end. Well, I don't have to make, I'm choosing to make um, for friends and family for gifts. So there's still a few things that I need to finish there. Um, so my next finished object, eh, kind of finished object. Uh, so it's my MCAL. So for the Stephen Moss MCAL, I'm doing I'm using magpie fibers again for this last year i used magpie fibers as well and i kind of i bought a kit from stephen and penelope and i didn't love it um like there was like one color i wanted to change and then i got a replacement color and i didn't so i still didn't really like it that much so i decided i was gonna try with um magpie fibers that i got and then see if i liked it if i didn't i was gonna just use the kit and probably give it away but i think i <laughs> like my colors so the colors i'm using are I'm using this all on solo fingering, so it's like the single ply base. Um, so I'm using Harpoon, which is like a cool brownie color. Um, Paris Train, which is like, um, it's speckled with kind of darker browns, turquoise, navy. Um, and then my, so these are, this is my main color, my contrast color. And then my accent color is Magpie. I have it caked up already. Um, which is just this really pretty, I feel, I think it might be their signature color, like a tealy gray. Um, this is my favorite color. I had this in my last year's shawl too, and I loved it. Um, so I have one color repeating from last year's shawl, which last year I did in the, um, swanky sock, so it's a different base, but I kind of like the continuity between, like, uh, last year I had, this is one of my colors, and then this year it's going to be one of my colors. Um, so I'm going to show my completed clue one. So it's like half finished, quarter finished, because it's four weeks. Um, just in case anyone doesn't want to see it or is spoiler warning. But, um, so this is what my clue one looks like so far. So I love it. I think the speckles look really cool with the stripes. And I'm, I'm hoping, I, Steven said that there's going to be like a lot of detail with the contrast color. So I'm hoping it doesn't get lost with all the speckles, but I like the way it looks so far. And I think the next clue comes out tomorrow morning. So I'm all caught up so I can work on my other projects. But, and I love the, um, like the braid here. It was really fun to do. It was so, so tedious to knit, but um, I like how it turned out. Uh, so I guess I'll move on to works in progress. So the MCAL will be put away. Let me put it back in the bag so I don't lose it. Um, if anyone, I don't even know if anyone's watching, but if anyone didn't want to see the MCAL, it's gone. Um, so my work's in progress. So like I mentioned, I have a few things on the needles for myself, but also I'm making a few gifts for people. So one of them has been started. <laughs> one has been started five times and I've ripped it out because I hated it every time. Um, but so I guess I'll start first. So I'm making my boyfriend a sweater. Um, we live together here in Hoboken, but he does not own a jacket. It's the most cr bizarre thing to me. We don't, it's not like we don't have cold winters. He just doesn't have a jacket. So I'm making him a sweater. Um, and he has the same kind of standard uniform. So he wears <laughs> every day without fail. It does not matter the season. Um, a quarter zip pullover, a, an, a, a, like a t-shirt, undershirt, short or long sleeve, depending on the weather, and then khaki pants of some sort. So khaki, navy, brown, 
any color, like a neutral color, pretty much. Maybe maybe a light blue, but pretty much a light, like a light neutral color um, every <laughs> single day. So I'm making him the Zipper Sweater Man by Petite Knit. Um, this is in Sorella um, Bulky, and the color I think is Shakespeare Garden. It's from the Mayfair collection she had at, I think they announced it at the beginning of the summer, and I got the yarn a month or so ago. So um, this is how it's going so far. And the pink yarn is just where the sleeve separation was. So I picked up the sleeve. So I finished knitting on whatever ball I was on for the body after I slipped for sleeves. And then I'm just starting on the sleeves. I think that it's usually more motivating for me to have the sleeves done. And then I don't have to like flip an entire sweater every time I get around on the sleeve. Um, so I usually like to do the sleeves first and usually I do alternate skeins. I haven't done it yet and it looks like it's turning out fine. Like I don't see any discoloration on the screen. Um, I just didn't want to do it flat. So you work it flat until um, the it's all joined together after the zipper ends. Um, and I didn't feel like alternating skeins while it was flat. So <laughs> hopefully it all turns out, but I probably will alternate skeins on the body the rest of the way down once I finish the sleeves, um, just in case, but I really like the tonality of it. And like, I think that's a pretty good color, um, of how it's, it kind of all just blends together, even though it's different skeins cause it's so tonal. Um, and I got a green zipper from Petite Knit for this because I'm not very good at sewing. So I didn't want to have like a different, like a super, super different colored zipper and it be noticeable when I sew it in. Um, so I got like the green zipper from Petite Knit. Um, alrighty, let me look around. Okay, so the next thing I'm working on, this one's for me, uh, is the Sunday sweater. Also by Petite Knit. A lot of Petite Knit. Uh, <laughs> I knit mostly Petite Knit things just because I love that style and like kind of want like more of a classic knit wardrobe. So I really don't have many like crazy, like my West Sense is the only crazy thing I do and like Andrew Mowry stuff. I wouldn't say this is crazy, but the Alpen Glow for me is definitely a bit out there. Not really like a wardrobe staple. It's not like I could wear it once a week and like kind of be okay with it. So. I do a lot of patina. knit. So this is um, the Sunday sweater. It is Woolberry fiber in, this is from the Coastal Collection. It's Cliff and it's just Cliff. It's Cliff in the Aran and the Surrey. So I'm, I don't know if this is the right gauge. I don't gauge swatch often for patina knit because I usually am about the same gauge as her probably should have, but I didn't. So <laughs> I'm hoping they'll have this done relatively quickly. It's going really fast. It's on, what is it on? Seven millimeter needles? Yeah, seven millimeter needles. So it's going really quickly. I'm, I separated for sleeves. I'm like literally three rounds <laughs> past the sleeve separation. So I should try it on and just double check. But I think it'll be fine fit wise. I just, I don't know if it's going to be like too holy and airy um, to be actually warm and worthwhile because it gets pretty cold up here. But I love the color. Apparently I'm on a green sweater kit because I just finished another green sweater. Um, but yeah, I love it so far. It's super soft. Um, and I don't know if I mentioned already. I, I have a Ravelry. I'll, Ravelry. I'll link it down below. I'm pretty good about updating it um, as I finish things. I have a notebook that I like to write things in because it makes me, like I like, I have like one of those Polaroid um, camera printers. So when I post something on Instagram and it's finished, I'll post it on, I'll print out a copy of the post and I'll put it in my um, notebook as like another finished object. But um, yeah, so I usually post on Ravelry. It's usually a day or two later than when uh, I finish the project though. Um, okay, so I have a lot of whips. 
I'm not gonna go through all of them because that seems a bit excessive. So I'm just gonna do two more. I'll do two more. I'll do a sweater and a sock. So the sock I'm working on finishing right now is the crunkled sock. Um, this is, I guess it's a hoe technically because this one's done. This one's been done for a year. Um, I went to finish it. I went to knit it. I went down to Houston to visit one of my best friends. Um, and I started knitting it on the plane and that was last November, like early November. And I finished the sock and then by then I had all my Christmas yarns and I just wanted to knit all the Christmas things. So this just sat for a year. <laughs> so I want to finish this soon so I can have fall socks and I can start knitting on Christmas things when I want to. Um, so this is a homespun house. Uh, and so the top color is Leugaberry, um, and it's soft sock. Uh, I think I got like a 50 gram skein of it. I have most of her tonals, um, in 50 grams just as like accent colors for heels, toes, cups. And then the main color is, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but it's actually Stellina and it's the Spice Cider colorway. I think she has them in the shop right now because she's been dyeing all of the fall colors again and she has a few really pretty ones um, that are new that she added to, which Molly has oh, the softest yarns and the most beautiful colors. I wish she had more like yellows and greens that aren't like neon because those are my favorite and blue, but those are my favorite. I actually have a sweater quantity in blue. So um, this is how far I am on the second sock. So I'm right before the heel and I need to start knitting on it more. I bring it with me to and from work. I don't really knit in the morning on the way to work because um, I take the bus into work and sometimes I get car sick, which is really unfortunate. Um, but I will knit on the way home because I take the train or the path so it's all underground so I don't really get car sick as much which is nice so I will usually knit on the way home um but so my last whip I have to go grab it is another sweater that's been sitting on my needle since January um maybe not the catch so this is my last sweater uh this is my last sweater. I don't know if I'm going to keep all of that in or not. I kind of just don't want to edit this <laughs> and let it go. So this is the Badger and Bloom um, by Anna Bensel, I want to say. Um, she sells all her patterns on her own website, not on Ravelry. So I bought it there. So I don't know if this one's actually on my Ravelry or not. But I'm using the Holskar and... Celio, Cello, Cello, I don't really know, C-I-E-L-O, um, and this is the winter white color, and then I can't remember what the blue is called, so it's like a, like a dark navy and white, um, I was watching Cryo, uh, Rebecca from Cryobea, uh, in January when she made this, and I think she made it in the same yarn, I think she did a gray though instead of, um, white and it looks so cozy so I finished both of the sleeves like I said I like to do the sleeves first because it kind of keeps me going and so I just I think I have to do like 10 more centimeters on the body and then the color work um so I'm almost done with it and I kind of would love to have this for the winter I think it'd be so fun in Switzerland so my family goes to Switzerland every year for Christmas um this year we're going to Switzerland and France but I think it would be so pretty to have this just as like a cozy sweater in the mountains at Christmas time. So hopefully I get this done. Um, so that's it for the works in progress I'm gonna show today. I don't wanna bombard everyone with all my whips. So my acquisition. So I've gotten a lot of yarn. I'm looking at my yarn bookcase right there. Um, but I got a few things over the weekend um, at Mother Knitter, which is one of the lo local yarn stores to me. They have San Niskarn, um primarily, and then they have a few indie dyers as well. But um, I went down to my parents' house over the weekend and my dad wants a sweater, or asked for a sweater. Um, and he kind of wants to wear it when we go to Switzerland. So 
I have that to do. And my mom also, a while ago, had asked for a cable sweater. She wants like a cream, classic cable sweater. So that's what I mentioned earlier. I've been trying to make that sweater and I can't get gauge with it or like I don't like the gauge that it's coming out to even if it hits gauge so I'm trying to make the Billy sweater um by Sari Norland Nordland um and I bought knitting for olive heavy merino for it and it, it's in the like the creamy marzipan shade I think um and I could not get gauge with it so I tried to get I got cascade to cascade 220 which is what sorry used in the pattern didn't like the fit of it or like didn't like how open the gauge was um because my mom gets cold really easily and she doesn't like she doesn't like like holier things so I got some mohair from sand uh from mother knitter some tin silk mohair so I'm hoping if I hold that with the heavy merino it'll kind of close in any of the holes and I'm gonna restart again <laughs> um let me actually go grab all the stuff I got. All right, so I have a coffee break. I have to leave soon. I'm filming this before work and not rushing, but kind of rushing. So let me just grab a sip of coffee. So I got the cream tin silk mohair for my mom's sweater and I'm hoping this helps it out so since I'm done with the West Knits week clue one this week already I'm probably gonna work on either Ryan's zipper sweater or my Sunday sweater and then when I finish one of them I'll try retry my mom's cable sweater um so like I said my dad had wanted to get he wants a sweater and he kind of wants a Marius, um, which is fine. I like color work, but he, we were at Mother Knitter and they had a lot of samples and all of the samples that he liked were fingering weight. So I get to make a fingering weight Marius. So he picked out, he kind of, he only really has, um, solid color sweaters. Close my low battery notification. Okay. So 8.30 in the morning and I already have a low battery. <laughs> um, so he only really has solid color sweaters. Uh, so I thought the best way to like ease him into color work, cause he wanted color work specifically. I told him I would make him like just a plain basic raglan. That's not what he wanted. He wanted color work. So I, to ease them in, I, I'm going to do the main body in this dark gray. It's number 1053. I think it might be like just gray Heather on the website, but I bought it in person, so I'm not sure. And then for the majority of the contrast color, I got this lighter Heather gray. So the two of them, I think have pretty decent contrast and it'll be like an easier step in for him. Um, to the wild world of designs on sweaters um and this color is 1032 so the base is sisu which is i think it's 80 percent wool 20 percent nylon yeah um i'm not sure if it's super wash or not i don't think it's super wash which is fine he said it was soft enough um so these are gonna be the two main colors and then he kind of wanted a third color so like to be like a classic marius i'm gonna do like the um to like knit up the sleeves and then steak the armholes and knit the armholes down. I think that's how it's done. I actually haven't looked much into it, but I'm pretty sure that's how it's done. So he wants, he kind of wanted the blue in there too. So I'm debating if I should do like contrast blue within the color work and then like the neck collar, the um, cuffs and the hem in the blue. He also wants I made the Rajari for myself and my mom, and he likes the um, pattern on the wrist and on the waistband. I added it to the waistband for my mom. Um, I just did like the bottom repeat that's the same on the cuffs for the bottom of her sweater. So he likes that look. So I need to figure out like what part of the Marys I want to chop off and put add on to the cuff, and if I'm going to do 
any extra colors or just have a blue cuff and then the light gray and the dark gray but I don't know if that'll like just look like I ran out of yarn if I only do the blue as the cuffs so that's my dilemma with that sweater and then the only other yarn I got like in the last week is I got this is from more Molly from the homespun house it's the softest yarn I like all my socks are pretty much homespun house but um this is cabin in the woods so this is one of her newer colors um i don't know if she still has it in the shop this is soft sock dk so my mom really only likes dk socks she thinks that fingering weight socks are too thin she also likes only ribbed so i need to stock up on dk for her because i i'm gonna give her a bunch of socks for christmas um and she kind of prefers neutrals because she doesn't want like something popping out from underneath her jeans or her pants or whatever. Um, so I thought this was a really pretty color and I don't know if I'm going to use a contrast with it or not, or if I'm just going to knit it up straight. Um, the sample Molly had in the fingering weight was gorgeous. So I kind of want it for myself, but I'll give it to my mom. And then what came with it is the Halloween at Hogwarts sock set. So this is, um, the main is uh, I think it's soft sock and then the contrast is Stellina. I think you can see it a little bit but um, it's this really pretty speckled like purpley orangey gorgeous color and this is definitely <laughs> gonna be for me because I'm selfish um, and then I don't know if this is one of her main color purple colors or not it kind of looks like it could be but it looks a little dark to be like amethyst or something so it might be just a one-of-a-kind purple she made with it but this is so pretty so this is gonna be socks for me I can't decide what pattern to do I've made a few crunkle socks over the summer and for some reason my gauge has like really increased um and like my 64 stitch socks are not fitting me. And like I wore crunkled socks over the weekend that I made over the summer that were 64 stitches and they were almost falling down my leg by the end of the day. So I don't know if I need to go down a needle size. I already knit on two millimeter needles for my socks, which is small. So I think I might try and get 1.75 millimeters. Oh, that just sounds so, ugh. um, but I might try and do that and see if that works or because it's like it's a loose fabric now too it's not like squishy and soft it's like thin and like you can like feel all the stitches so I think I need to go down a needle size but so it's like it ha it's like happened in the last like three weeks or not three weeks three months so, um that like my gauge has gone up a lot for socks everything else seems like it's pretty fine but the sock gauge is just not great. Or maybe I need to try like a different method. I usually do nine inch circulars. Um, and then I'll do like magic heel or not magic, magic loop or DPNs for the toe. Um, I've made a few socks with only DPNs and I like that. So maybe I'll try only DPN socks, like two millimeter DPN socks and see if that tightens it up and it's just the nine inch circulars. But I feel like DPNs are just so much slower. And also, like when I fly, I like to bring a sock and I feel like DPNs, you're asking to get your needles taken away because I like higher, higher sharps. But I think you have all the stabby things. But yeah, so that's, that's it. I need to get ready to go to work. Um, but hopefully I'll post this. So my plan is posting one every week one podcast every week um during the mcal just kind of show my progress and i'll give spoiler alerts hopefully i can keep up with it last year i was able to keep up with it every week and i finished on time i know it's not really on time but i finished on the schedule with one went with when steven was releasing clues and it was really fun but i also had covid last year during the mcal so i wasn't like working or doing anything so i just was sitting at home knitting all day so I don't know if I'll be able to keep up this year, but so far I'm loving it. And then I guess after that, maybe I'll do like every two weeks or so and just see how I'm going. 
I don't know. During I so my busy season for audit is January through April. So I probably won't be able to do one every two weeks because I work about 110 hours a week then. So there's not much time for knitting, let alone filming a podcast. So I don't know how much I'll have to show slash be able to <laughs> stay awake for. Um, but that's my plan, I think, if I even post this. I need to figure out what I'm gonna call it. I think Sarah's Stitch. We'll see. That's what my Instagram name is, is Sarah's, Sarah's dot Stitch. Um, and I feel like that's like a cute-ish podcast name, maybe. We'll see. But, um, so yeah, that's my, that's what the plan is. And then Rhinebeck's this weekend. So I'm only a two hour drive from Rhinebeck, which is not far at all. Uh, I don't have anywhere like booked to stay and I'm trying to save money at the moment. So I'm debating if I wanna go. I really wanna, I, ha I made an Angered sweater in Cory Confetti, uh, which I love, it's gorgeous. It's a little, little bigger than I had expected it to be, but that's fine. Um, and I really wanted to wear it to Rhinebeck, but I know if I go, I'm gonna buy literally all the yarn. I have a ticket to Woolen Folk, and I don't have any Sonder yarn, and I really wanna get some Sonder yarn. And I know if I go, I'll be getting like three sweater quantities, which probably isn't the smartest idea considering I live in an apartment and it's already bursting with yarn <laughs> everywhere you look. Um, but we'll see if I wind up going or not. So my Alpen Glow may make an appearance this weekend or not, but that is that. So I need to go get ready for work commute into the city so all right hopefully I post again in a week ish we'll see how much time I have for filming and if this even turned out okay I feel like my head's been cut off for the whole video and if I just want to accept it or move on I have like a I don't have a tripod or anything I'm filming on my phone and it's stacked on a stool and one two three four five books and resting on a glasses case so, but I can't see where my head, I feel like my head's cut off here. Like I need to be back here, but then I can't see. So I'm filming with the back camera, which I just feel like it's a better quality video, but that means I can't see anything. So I have a mirror in front of my screen, but like I can't see, <laughs> it's a whole disaster. So I have no idea if my head's been cut off this whole time. I think I'll post it anyway, because why not? But I don't really feel like editing. We'll see. But anyhow. All right. It's been lovely talking to you. My boyfriend will be very happy that I don't have to bother him today about yarn. Um, and hopefully I will see you next time. Bye.